Hi everyone! This week's toy hunt is at Walmart and in the overflow section like for getting ready for the holidays they have this lol surprise calendar set which has a bunch of different looks. You get 25 items inside. There's also a Na 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 surprise little mini doll set. Look how cute! It says 150 different ways to style so I think these are outfits as well. They're both made by, by MGA but look how cute! kitty cat what is so you get that doll and then I'm assuming just a bunch of different outfits that you can also mix and match with your other little na 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 surprise minis it's adorable packaging too so that one's 30 30 dollars roughly and then they have some of the sparkle girls dolls as their sets the big Care Bear plushie set okay I love bedtime bear there and then a cool light bright the super bright HD <laughs> It looks like the Real Littles Sanrio backpacks are readily available. Here's the Karomi one. They have cute little fluffy, fluffy cinnamon roll. And then Hello Kitty back there. So that's good to see. Those took me forever to find. And then I wonder if they're going to make like the Real Littles DIY crafts a second series. That would be cool. But they've had that series out for, for a while. This puppy's home is on a uh, rollback. They have a bunch of Disney Dorables <laughs> kind of stacked high. And then they also have a lot of the Academy packs as well. Oopsies. Those are really hard to stand up there. But they have the, the larger pack. And then looks like they're making individual blind bags for Disney Dorables. Is this Series 8? Yeah, so that's cute. That's a good series. There's a lot of... Um, Alice in Wonderland characters in that series. I think I have large boxes to still open from that. My goodness. And then we have some cute Tito's. We have the Cookie Eatos, which are the Walmart exclusive, and then some of the Sleepy Eatos, which look really cute. And then Magic Mixies. Lots of crystal woods. They also have the Magic Lamp. That version is the Walmart exclusive. And then the cauldrons. A couple of you asked if the cauldrons are still available. And I've seen them at Walmart. I believe that one's a Walmart exclusive. The, the rainbow one, which looks pretty cool. And then they also have the other plushies, which are like from the first series. Um, I haven't seen like the water and fire plushies at, at Walmart yet. But de Target definitely has them. But nicely stocked with all the Magic Mixy stuff. They also have a ton of mini brands. Walmart has definitely expanded their section to, to feature all, all the mini brand stuff. And then they also have like almost like a rainbow corn section. And then those other like Zuru smashers too. Lots of snackles. Not the second wave, but lots and lots of, <laughs> of snackles capsules. Up top in this section, they have some of the cookies makery and they're actually on rollback. And then there's something new which looks adorable. It's a little mini toaster called Toasty Treats. Oh yeah, that's $29.86 for the little mini ovens, which is a pretty, pretty good price there. And then look at these guys. So they pop out of a toaster and you have some cute little scented animal plushies with that same design. So it looks like they just have the cinnamon treats on rollback. I haven't seen the bread ones like in a long time, but that's really cool. Glad to see the line expanding and um, a pretty good price. If you're still like waiting on the little mini oven, I think that's a great deal, um, especially for the holidays. This Walmart also has a nice crybaby section. This is the first time I'm seeing the little star talent series, which look adorable. They also have some of the monster dolls from the stars line. <laughs> that's cute. And then some other big, big dolls as well. This Walmart usually doesn't carry much crybabies, so good to see. And then there's a nice Polly Pocket section, which now looking at everything, they've expanded this line so much. I'm glad they're they're back and in, in popular. That's awesome. There's a cute little honeybee acre costume set. Look at the pirate cow. That's adorable. <laughs> they have a nice collection there. And then there's a lot of new troll stuff for the band together movie including these. These are called pom-poms. I'm not sure. They're not the little minis. The little minis come in the blind bags and are, are very adorable. But the pom-poms are like $9.97, so they must be like little mini mini troll dolls. And then down here they have some of the Magic Mixie Pixlings, including Flitta, which is the Butterfly Walmart exclusive. Weird that these aren't in the Magic Mixie section, though. This is down the doll aisle. 
at least an aisle over at my Walmart or one of my Walmarts. <laughs> oh, look, there's new cute little plushies. Oh, these are that super soft material. So they're little boba and drink plushies. Look at the dragon fruit dragon one. Oh my goodness. I love the material and this bear is adorable. So those are really fun. And then they also have these scented smelly jelly plushies, which look kind of interesting. You get one plushie inside. The art design's cute. They showed donuts on that side, but I think the art is the actual like little plushie standing upright. They have some squishmallows. That's a cute like bluish frog. Oh, look at Grumpy. It looks like he's behind bars and he's not happy about it. <laughs> There's cows versus aliens. Yes, we're now seeing those pretty readily available. Oh, they have a bunch too. I love those. Those are so cute. So cute. And then we head to the Alpha Mouse section. They've made a ton of merchandise lately. They have the, the three pack, the blind box plushies, the little keychains, the mystery me meow figures, and then the little squishy ones too. So Yikes, that, that line has, has definitely taken off with a lot of stuff. We have a lot of the Miniverse items. Walmart also has the new Shadow High dolls. We saw these at Target last week, so good to see them here. Walmart's definitely uh, stocking up. Oh, she's so pretty. So it looks like they have all of them but the boy that's out, I think. I like this doll. I know she's not like brand brand new, but look at the little makeup design she comes with. That's a cute little miniature makeup set. Ah, they should do more of those. Even because they do like the blind box shoes, they should do like the blind box make makeup accessories. That would be cool. And here's a look. I'm not sure if she's part of the new line too. I don't remember seeing her last week. But here's a look at some of the other ones. Very cute. They also have the, the color change, not color change, the one that you create the, the colors and look for. The two pack of Sunny and Luna. Very cute. And then they have some LOL surprise on this aisle, mostly like the capsules and that large bubble pack. And then on the flip side to this aisle, they have more LOL surprise. So they even have the new LOL mini bites set and the Tootsie Roll set which is awesome. They have the little tweens with the swap heads. <laughs> More Nana Na surprise. Oh, and they have um, this cute little plushie. I think he's a goat from the, the Wish movie coming out soon. I think it comes out in November around Thanksgiving. They have the new Nana Na surprise unicorn set, which looks really cute. And then some of the mini play sets for the Wish movie, as well as some of the the dolls. Well, that's cool. I love how she comes with the little the little star. Oh, and then Walmart also has the Disney "I Love You Forever" doll line. That's the first time I'm seeing these here at Walmart, so that's really cool. Those are dolls are have really just grown on me. They're they're gorgeous. They have very cute designs. And then they also have like the Stitch little food series of blind boxes. We've seen those at Target too. But they have a nice Disney section here. In the Monster High section, they do have the Torilei, which I believe is a Walmart exclusive um, from the Neon Fright series. And then also Twyla, who looks adorable in the bunny hoodie. These are all so tempting. So there's still three others in this set. Draculaura... Um, Laguna and Frankie, which I haven't seen yet. But it's just so nice to see Monster High again, just pulling back and looking at this aisle. It just reminds me of my old, old toy hunts, which go way back, and Toys R Us and everything, and going through all the different dolls. Um, it's very nostalgic at this point, so it's good to see, and it's good to see that they're just as cool as they were. Also, in the Barbie section, they now make the little Barbie extras, but like super mini. <laughs> so I've only unboxed one, but they were like mid-size, and now these are the mini version. So they are pretty, pretty tiny. I'm not sure if they'd be a good remit size. They might be a little too small. But that's kind of cute, because they also make a little play set. Okay, that's not it. Here we go. It's a little 
van or bus. So I wonder if they're going to do more of, of these minis in this size. But they look pretty cute. They still have the, the brushable hair design. So that's pretty neat. There's also a lot of cutie reveal, color reveal, and then the pop reveal, although that slime leaked out of the red one. <laughs> but it looks like they have all the different colors. There's another red one in back. And these were a lot of fun. So at the time of filming, I saw pictures that they're going to make a little Chelsea mini pop reveal ones. So that's cool. In the back section of Walmart, they have some stitch plushies. And look at the cute little angel. Okay, she's adorable. And then, oh, she took a tumble. He has a taco and avocado. And then Angel has, like, a cute little berry. Okay, I need to I need to grab her, but she's a little strawberry. Glad to see Angel stuff. She's adorable. And then they also have these little pinata guys, pinata smashlings. And then this is where they have Smushy Mushy. So they have a lot more of the Ice Cream Cone series, which I think I like be the best so far out of the new ones. Down the action figure aisle, they are very well stocked with Pokemon. I love these sleeping, like, pillow plush. They also have the Piplup Squishmallow, which we saw at Target. And then a lot of cool action figures. Look at Omanyte. Yes. He's he's so googly. <laughs> I like him. I wish they just sold him separately. And then, um, yeah, they have some uh, mid-evolutions. Lots of plushies. Over here they have the terry cloth ones. That's the word I was looking for, but they just have Oshawa. But look at how cute. And these are so soft. Something different with, with Pokemon plush. I like to see it. They also have the Walmart exclusive Balloon Foxy for Five Nights at Freddy's. I have yet to see any of the others. And they also have the new Funko like holiday line coming out. I think Funko.com has them in stock right now. And then they have a little loan firework freddy that's cute still haven't seen the movie though but i i hear good things and then mixed things but i think overall good and it's just really cool to have a finaf movie that's i think we're all very very happy about and then these mario plushie or plushies oh my goodness miniatures are adorable i don't need the box i wish they just made little blind bag miniatures because i think they're really cute and very nicely done so it shows some of the ones on the back. But look at the little Goomba and Kamek. <laughs> they also have a nice anime section of figures. They have a Dragon Ball um, Z exclusive Walmart figure. They have some cool Fortnite packs. As well as a Demon Slayer. Nice, nice section. In the Ninja Turtle section, they have some of the shell opening figures with the retro art and packaging. I love that. And then it's sort of new meets old. We have a lot of the new figures. As well as the costume pack, which is just adorable. <laughs> and then the large figures, old versus new. But those are neat, neat figures. Look at that guy. Ooh, is that Baxter Stockman? He's scary. And then Transformers has the cool legacy line with the neon repaints, which just looks so neat. They look like they would be blacklight, right? I wonder if they do glow under blacklight because that's that's tempting. <laughs> with Funko, I have a bunch of blacklight stuff. Oh, and then look at They have the white Optimus, but technically it's, it's the Ultra Magnus, as, as they're calling it, for the Red Series, which those are really nice. They don't transform, but they're really cool looking figures. And in the holiday section, Halloween's over with, so now they, they're bringing out Christmas, but look at these Squishmallow ornaments. So they're, they're really cute, but they're like a hollow, hard, plasticky feel. They might be breakable, they're all wrapped up, but look at this little, I don't know if it's an octopus or squid, how cute is that? But they're all in like little holiday outfits, winter outfits. They're not soft or anything. But, okay, that cow's adorable. They have a cactus and a Santa hat. But if you're a Squishmallow fan, these would make cute little holiday decorative pieces. And it looks like those are the varieties that they have. Okay. And it looks like they're $7.88 a piece at Walmart. 
Okay, I'm back home from my toy hunt. It's time for the quick haul. I was really excited to find a new, a new item from the Cookies Makery line. These are called Toasty Treats. It's a little mini toaster. You get a chance of finding 12 different scented plush inside and they pop up like toast. Like how cute is that? And it has the same art style as the Cookie Makery oven plushies, but these are like toaster pastries. Like that is super cute. And I think a great price point at $9.97. So I have a feeling that those are going to be pretty, pretty popular and look adorable. They only had one left in stock. So very happy to pick this up and curious to see what they look like. And then Walmart had the Cookies Makery Ovens on rollback, so I couldn't pass up going after the cinnamon treats. I previously only unboxed the Target exclusive, which were cute little donuts, but I also like the cinnamon treats. There's only the three, the little doggy, bunny, or kitty, and it was just a lot of fun to make. And I love the little heated plushies. It's, it's just a, a, such a cute concept. So the rollback was about $5 off, but still that's a fairly good price. And again, I have a feeling that these will, will be popular for, for Christmas, but they started disappearing more at Target. So I'm hoping there'll be a nice wave heading into the shopping season. Um, and definitely for that price, I think it's a, it's a good value for what you get. It's very cute. And now they have something else to collect. So good to see that line expanding. These are made by Moose Toys. So they, they usually do a great job. And that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful for your own shopping. You can join me every Thursday for a new toy hunting video. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.